this is Jeremy. Um, today I'm going to be showing you an application. It's called Double Take. It's by Echo One. Um, I've been playing around with the iPhone a lot, different apps, and I've seen a lot of uh, apps on there for doing panoramic photos and stuff like that. And it got me thinking, you know, what apps like this are out for the actual Mac. Uh, so I found this, and it seemed like I've gone. I went through several, and this seemed like the best one. Uh, basically, all you do is you pick your pictures. Uh, then you drag them in here. It sorts them. Uh, it, I think it sorts by the file names, so it doesn't actually seem to sort out uh, in order. You just drag these over here. Uh, this is one I did outside my house. Uh, you line it up. You can kind of see through it, so it's a little bit easier to do. Um, and you go up here. This one's the one I always have trouble with because I've been messing with this picture. I haven't really gone out the past couple of days other than at night so uh, I couldn't really take any pictures anywhere else so I just took this one. This picture is a little bit distorted down here on the corner because I uh, had my finger over the camera on my phone when I took it and I didn't realize it. Um, but you can set the focal point here. Um, you can fish eye and distort the image a little bit. Um, you can have it straight, however you want to do that. Uh, then you, just, you have to go back in and line it up again. Uh, it's a really cool app. It takes some it takes some time to get the images to look right and to look really nice. But uh, I'll show you a finished product I have in a few minutes. Uh, you can go over here and then you crop it. Uh, this is like an auto align or something. I haven't used it. Uh, and this, the adjustments down here is really where you get your photos to look. Uh, whichever one that you have highlighted is the one that it will uh, mess with. And you can actually tell which one's highlighted because it's got these little uh, half squares down here. Just click whichever one you want to do. Uh, there's other ways to adjust over here. Uh, you can mess with the geometry. You can rotate it. You can tilt. You can scale. Uh, you can fit. You can zoom to fit, which is what I'm, I have it set to now. So the whole image will set in here. Well, it's actually a little bit off. Um, um, you can zoom in and zoom out, and it helps you kind of decide if you're even or not here. Um, got a text message on my new Mario Brothers theme uh, from Cydia. Um, and whenever you're finished with it, you can send it to iPhoto or, or Aperture. Um, like I said, this picture right now doesn't look so good because I haven't really messed with it a whole lot. I'm going to try to be quick and not do too much of that, but I'll show you up here in the menu bar. Uh, you've got About Double Take, you got your Preferences, which I will go to, into in a second. You've got File, uh, you can do a new uh, photo, you can open, you've got Recent, uh, you can Close, Save, Save As, Save to iPhoto, Save to Aperture. Uh, you got your editing over here, your image, which is a lot of what's on the toolbar over here. Um, I don't think the rotates on the toolbar though. You got your info, overlap, uh, um, window. Right now, photo browser. If you click on that, it will actually uh, crash the application. Uh, and when they sent this to me, they told me that that would happen already, and that they're working to fix that, and that should be out soon. So. As long as you don't click on Photo Browser, you're good and it shouldn't crash. I haven't had it crash on me at all yet. Except for when I got curious and tried to click Photo Browser anyway. Um, help, you got your manual and the website, which is this right here. I haven't really looked at but I'm saying this. Pro yeah, this gives you a little bit of a uh, walkthrough tutorial type thing on how to uh, use this app. Which I didn't do. I just went in and started messing with it myself. So I'm sure you can do a lot better than what I've done with my pictures if you actually read this, which I'll probably do after this video now, but uh, if you mess with your pictures enough, you'll get it looking really nice regardless, even without reading the instructions in the manual or whatever. Um, so basically it's a lot of editing uh, where I accidentally messed around with the the autofocus on my iPhone. Uh, it kind of messed with the coloring and the exposure and stuff, which is why this center picture looks off from the left picture and all that. But uh, once you finish and you mess with it a little bit, like I said, you want to crop it, take a little bit out because the photos aren't going to always line up evenly. So you want to take that out to there and then you can save it. And I'll show you my finished product right here. 
I don't want to save that. This is what I came up with as my finished product. Uh, looks pretty nice. Like I said, uh, I kind of messed. It took a lot of messing with the exposure and the the brightness and all of that just because of the way I took the picture. But it actually lines up the images really nice, and you can't even tell where it was lined up. If, like I said, you want to zoom in uh, and make sure that you're dead on as far as pixel for pixel. And you do that, and it's actually pretty easy after you mess with it a little bit to get some really nice looking images. So uh, I would definitely recommend this application. It's awesome. Uh, probably a whole lot easier than anything that you would actually do on the iPhone. I guess if you want to do it on the go, that would the iPhone would be the best way. But as far as Mac related uh, stuff, this is really nice. Um, now, I think you can download this. I'm not sure if it's watermarked. I think it's watermarked. I don't think it's a trial. I think it's actually watermarked until you buy the full version. Uh, let me see how much this is. Double take. I'm trying to find buy. Here we go. And see how much this costs. Oh, it's twenty-five dollars. I totally missed that. So it's it's fairly cheap. It's not too expensive. Uh, it's a really nice app. It's simple. It doesn't have a whole lot of options, which is good because it does everything you need or, or want it to do without many options. So uh, I would definitely recommend trying this out, messing with it a little bit before you buy it, probably just to make sure that it's uh, it's going to be what you want to you know what you want to buy, which I would recommend with any app, but. Uh, it's definitely awesome. The more I mess with it, the easier it gets, uh, the better my pictures turn out. Uh, and now I'm going to read this manual and see if I can make them turn out even better. Uh, but this is definitely a nice app to use if you want panoramic photos, wide lens effects, and stuff like that. So uh, mess with that. Play around with it a little bit. Uh, if you want, post links. Well, I don't think you can post links. Uh, send me private messages of photos that you've done. Uh, send comments. Let me know how you like the app. Uh, let me know if there's any other ones that you think are nice that you'd like to try, and I'll be putting out more videos for you guys soon. Thanks.